Welcome back guys to another cyberpunk video. How can you make a 900% crit or an insane netrunner build even better? Well there is a way to do that and it also involves to get more skill points. Welcome to the new best all round build for cyberpunk 2077 for patch 1.6. You will get over 40,000 damage with our monowire in this build without even having to rely on berserk or beast mode. We'll have over 35,000 damage with our rifles which is even more than with the 900% crit damage and we will also have over 60,000 damage with our revolvers totally obliterating any gang member in Pacifica by a wide wide margin. Lucky Luke would be totally jealous to get this build and we will also use Thunder Vistern with a maximum amount of heat sinks in this build that will make the comrades hammer a really viable and deadly weapon. This build will use a maximum reflex level, a maximum cool level and we will still have enough points to get all the cool cyberware from the body tree as well and of course we will also go for level 65 in Merciless which will give us over 300% critical damage and 100% crit chance for any weapon we want to use. The way to achieve that is by going only for tech 12, which means that we will only get true craftsman and grease monkey and the field technician. That will only allow us to craft epic items but that is absolutely okay, because you will still be able to craft any epic version of any of these weapons except for the Yinglong or the Batsing Shong, because these are the only two weapons where you will only get a legendary crafting spec, but these two are not the best ones anyway. Another good thing is that epic weapons will still deal the same amount of damage than legendary ones, especially if you crafted them yourself because then you will get the crafting bonus from field technician. The big damage gap actually happens between rare and epic items, but epic items will be just as powerful as legendary ones. So if we take a closer look at all the stats, then tech is not really that mandatory than we always thought it was. Of course that also means that you can only craft rare mods, so your crunch mods will only be 5% instead of 7% damage, your armor dealers will only give you 62 armor instead of 75 and your heat sinks will only cool down your Sanavistan by 3 seconds instead of 4. But this one in particular can even be countered by using the legendary or epic bioconductor. But all these losses are actually small compared to getting 6 additional skill points and you can still buy any weapon of your choice even in a legendary variant if you just go to the correct dealer. You can still get a legendary Ajax and you can also still get epic crunch mods if you just reload the vendors a lot. So you actually don't really lose anything, you just gain 6 additional skill points. And these additional points can be used to drop 16 points into body or 16 points into intelligence to make this the absolute best ultimate all round hybrid build. The favorite weapons I used for this build are the legendary Ajax because I found this one to be stronger than the crafted epic Moronlab. If you play stealthy with this weapon and you also equip a silencer and have a 20 cool level, you will multiply your damage by a factor of 5.5 making your 300% critical damage to be 1650%. I also kind of fell in love with the comrades hammer but only if you actually use Sandvistan a lot because other than that you can get killed very very easily. Thanks to the double damage from the last bullet you will actually always deal around 600% damage than you will usually deal. And of course the mono wire in this build will be absolutely crazy as well. Thanks to the judge, jury and executioner perk which will simply double your damage and to the additional butterfly damage you will also be around 900% critical damage damage that will bring the monowire on the same level as the Zatori without having to rely on berserk or beast mode. And thanks to the use of second heart I was able to fight off the level 4 police for over 10 minutes without even dying a single time. If you like to play with handguns then you should definitely check out the crash. The crash has a revolver with an increased accuracy and you can deal over 60,000 damage with it. It uses the same multipliers as the Ajax, as long as you are stealthy and you have a silencer equipped, you will not only deal 300% damage, but in fact 1650%. But let's finally check out the build guys. For this build I decided not to go with the crafted epic Moron Lab, I decided to buy the legendary one from the vendor. Because the legendary one thanks to the 4 mod slots had a little bit more damage, even though it was a close call. Of course I equipped an MK clear view, a blue silencer and 4 rare crunch mods. If you reload the weapon stealer you could also go for 4 epic crunch mods giving you even more damage, but that would have taken more time than I actually had to make this build and the two or 3% you actually gain are really negligible. 
Of course you can basically play with any weapon you want with this build, but I picked for my second weapon the Crash Revolver with a Kanotsugu Optics. We will also use this revolver in stealth gameplay, so we equip a blue silencer and also two additional crunch mods. The last weapon I picked for this build is Comrade's Hammer, which is simply insanely strong. It doesn't have any optics, it doesn't have any silencer, but it has an insanely high DPS, even in an epic version. The Comrade's Hammer is best used together with Sunday Vista so that your enemies are literally immovable and you have every time in the world to reload this weapon. Of course you could also equip the epic versions of Satori or Yintimaru if you want to play with blades, but having the legendary monowire equipped was simply more appealing to me. Since you cannot craft any legendary closing pieces, you have to rely on the ones you can find across Night City or from random loot locations. I got really lucky because I found a headgear that actually came with 4% additional critical damage, which is awesome. If you can find more of these types of gear which has an increased crit chance or increased critical damage on itself, then definitely use these items. The only other remaining option is of course to use rare armadillo mods in all your mod slots. And I have done this pretty much for every everything else except for my eyewear where I still managed to find a 4% crit chance mod. Any other closing piece is filled with armadillo mods as usual. The cyberware is where this build really starts to shine because we have only equipped the highest and best possible legendary and epic cyberware. This is actually the best cyberware setup you can think of, you can only improve it if you improve your body level to body 20 to get the legendary bioconductor and the legendary skeleton. Everything else is pretty much maxed out. In the frontal cortex we have equipped 10% health on kill, then the mechatronic core with increased damage versus robots. In our Kiroshi optics we will go for 3 trajectory analyzers. Yes, if you equip your weapon, if you actually draw it, you will also see all these damage increases. So please draw your weapon, all these mods are stacking and working. In our circulatory system, thanks to our high body level, we can equip the epic bioconductor which reduces all our cooldowns by an additional 20%, so it actually doesn't matter that our heat sinks for our Sunday Western have one second less, the bioconductor will make our heat sinks basically just as efficient as legendary ones. You could of course also go for body 18 to get the legendary bioconductor which reduces all cooldowns by 30%, but body 16 is enough to also get second heart which is probably the best cyberway in the game because it revives you on death. The last slot is filled with legendary blood vessels and thanks to a high level in cool we can also get the legendary pain editor which reduces all our incoming damage by 10%, the metabolic editor makes us completely immune against poison damage, the legendary Kerenzikov and the epic nano relays will make us literally unkillable with our monowire in melee fights. In case you don't know how to execute Kerenzikov, Kerenzikov is basically an alternative Thunder Vista mode. You just have to hold your aim button, move into any direction and double tap dodge. That will trigger the Kerenzikov slowdown for over 5 seconds and it only has a 2 second cooldown which is way faster than any Thunder Vista could ever be. I really recommend to use it together with blades and especially with your monowire because it automatically triggers the butterfly damage perk. Of course we will go for the 300 additional armor points, the legendary optical camo and then the epic heat converter that means whenever you are actually burning you will deal even more damage instead of taking damage. Then in our operating system we will go for the Quine Sandevistan Mark IV which is the best Sandevistan in the game and we will equip it with 3 rare heat sinks. These heat sinks will reduce the cooldown by 3 seconds and together with the bioconductor these will be just as good as legendary ones. Since we have 100% crit chance from Merciless anyway, I wouldn't recommend to go for the 5% crit chance mod here. Don't forget you can only use one of them anyway, so I think the heat sink is the better option. We will get the epic skeleton for 50% additional health increase and the legendary micro rotors which will greatly affect our monowire damage. The legendary smart link is not needed except if you really want to play with smart weapons and then we have the mono wire with over 4600 dps. I also equipped electrical damage because electrical damage is the least resistant type that almost nobody has a resistance for, we will go for the epic battery and also for the 20% additional critical damage. And don't forget in your leg slots to use the tendons for your double jump. But now let's finally check out the skills. This build has 20 cool, 12 tech, 20 reflex and 16 body. If you don't focus on net running, this is the best skill distribution you can actually think of. It allows you to use every cyberware and every weapon in the game together with a maximum amount of crit chance and critical damage. 
In the cool tree we will go for the assassin perk that gives you 15% more damage to all human targets. Silent and deadly gives you 25% more damage whenever your weapon uses a silencer. So it completely mitigates the effect of actually wearing a silencer. Sniper will give you 20% more headshot damage and strike from the shadows will increase your crit chance whenever you crouch. In the cold blood tree we will go for level 65 on merciless that will give you 100% crit chance and 300% critical damage. For that of course we have to activate cold blood and part 3 points in the cold blood and then we simply grab all the perks that prolong this effect as long as possible. Like Kula Gulant which only removes every stack of cold blood one by one. Cold and Calculating will also add a new stack of cold blood whenever you make a critical hit. Critical Condition prolongs cold blood by 50% and then we add another two stacks of cold blood. In the tech tree we will get True Craftsman to craft rare items, Grease Monkey to craft epic items and the Field Technician which will increase the damage for all our crafted weapons. In our Reflex we will get the most out of our rifles by getting Bullseye for increased damage whenever we aim down sight. Then the General Perk which increases damage by 10% for all our rifles and the Stoic Perk which is the absolute best and increases all our rifle damage by 35% whenever we are standing still and you are most likely standing still anyway. Then we get 50% damage for enemies whose health is above 50% and then the long range for enemies who are farther away. Under handguns we will go for the general 10% damage increase, then Rio Bravo for 15% additional headshot damage and the long range damage for every enemy who is farther away than 5 meters. And of course if you use a comrade's hammer also gets a double damage for every last bullet. For blades you should get the damage increase for all heavy attacks, the increased attack speed and then the judge, jury, executioner and float like a butterfly. These two perks will by far give you the most damage for all your blades. And don't forget to get Death Bolt because that perk will literally keep your life forever thanks to the 20% health whenever you make a kill which stacks beautifully with the 10% heal on kill. The Dragon Strike should be activated automatically as soon as you reach Blades level 20. So you don't have to invest a point to get this bonus. Under body you should of course get the usual capacity increase, the health regeneration and then definitely get the 20% increased melee damage for steel and chrome because that will also affect your blade damage. And don't forget to get invincible for another 15% health. I hope you really like this build, I think it's the best possible build you can currently make in patch 1.6. Please don't forget to subscribe, leave me a like and see you next time.